So in structuring an essay and thinking about how you want it to flow, think about a story arc. How does it start? How does it develop? What's the climax? And what's the resolution? And how does it end, right? So even in any of these essays for the common application, think about it as a story arc because it really ga uh, grabs the attention of the reader and pulls them in. So you wanna think about what's the attention grabber? What provides the context? How does the story build and where does it reach a climax? What did you learn from the situation? How does it end? So using the approach of a story arc, let's tackle essay number four. Reflect on something that someone has done for you that has made you happy or thankful in a surprising way. How has this gratitude affected or motivated you? In that case, let's break the question down and highlight the main terms you do not want to miss when answering a super important question like that, because there's a lot of ways, a lot of pitfalls in this question. So the questions or the points you really want to highlight are reflect something or someone or someone, something that someone has done for you that has made you happy, underline that, or thankful in a surprising way. Also, big underline underneath how does this gratitude affected or motivated, huge underline on that one, you, okay? And so in this case, the way you really want to tackle this question is really be introspective. You want to show humility above all. And above all, above all everything else, it has to still be about you, even if it does discuss someone else. So in writing it, you've got 650 words. Start it off with an attention grabber. Bring them in, pull in the reader, right? Something that really captivates the audience. Kind of think about it like your life, like a movie. How does the movie start, right? So pull in the audience, right, with the attention grabber. Then in the second paragraph, provide it with the background in terms of the context. What was that experience? How was it, uh, how did it make you feel, right? Talk about that experience, provide the context. Then talk about how that experience had showed you and made you grateful or made you thankful in a surprising way. So then talk about that in that third paragraph, right? Really kind of dig deep, get into it. You know, don't just describe, reflect, really get personal. Then, in the fourth paragraph, you really want to talk about how that gratitude has affected you or motivated you. For example, if someone did something so incredible for you, let's say save the family member, and then after that, it motivated you to go out and volunteer, a classic way of cause and effect, right? And so you try to pull it into that direction as well to show how it impacted you, how it changed your perspective, your mindset, how it made you grow as a person. And then finally, bring it back full circle from that attention grabber at the start, conclude it and bring the whole thing back to the beginning. At the end of the day, the question is really asking about how you show and demonstrate gratitude, how you've uh, appreciated other people's generosity, the compassion involved in it, the humility. But it still is about you and about how you will add to that class because you're a good person. Right? So it goes beyond just the academics and your ambitions, but that you at your core are a good person to add value in and outside the classroom. Now I want you to avoid these pitfalls for this essay and almost for any other common application essay. Number one, make sure it's still about yourself. It brings it back to you, what you learned from it, what you're motivated and how it affected you, not just all about the other person that kind of provided you with feeling that sense of gratitude. Okay, number two, also be reflective. Don't just be descriptive, black and white. Something like the nurse at the hospital really helped my aunt. She was an incredible woman. I want to volunteer after that. But really get into it. Maybe your skepticism with medicine. Maybe talking about your appreciation for doctors over nurses and how you were surprised how important they of a role they played. How compassionate she was or he was towards the person that you loved, that gratitude that they brought to you, the fact that they kept informing you as they went through the whole procedure and how that person was able to recover, how that person, uh, that nurse kept checking up on your family member and then kind of how that motivated and affected you. That's a great example of really trying to reflect back and not just be purely descriptive, right? And that's important because you're kind of like a movie. You want to really add color and value and words that really showcase and flex your ability to think creatively and also to really put the reader in that situation. Finally, don't kind of fall flat on some of the key you know, pitfalls in the question by like, for example, talking about someone, right? You don't wanna talk about a historical figure or something as, as large uh, 
as 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 um, as ambiguous as like possibly a religious figure or just your parents or just your coach you really want to kind of hone in on someone that really kind of provide you that sense of gratitude that's unique it's also a unique angle if you can't think of that someone or that something even if you felt a sense of gratitude maybe this is not the question for you maybe you can put that in a question number seven or reflect on something else in the application process if you do do that it really has to kind of shine and maybe it has a kind of an element where let's say for example you love this musician the musician really inspired you and then because of that you opened up your eyes to a whole genre of music right and that genre of music you met a, a, an artist that really spoke to you from that genre of music that really made you sense of feel a sense of gratitude that kind of brings into real life okay so consider those as classic pitfalls things you don't want to do uh, and things you want to make sure you get right to really ace this essay and ace your common application well i hope you found this useful and get you on the right track to success if you have any questions or comments for us please Post them below, we'll do our best to get back to you with further resources. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and also make sure to check out all the videos in this common application series to really be able to ace that application process. In the meantime, and as always, stay sane, stay safe, and stay connected.